The starter pulley is part of the tool's starter assembly. The starter rope wraps around it, the starter spring attaches to the pulley and retracts the rope after it is pulled, and the pulley engages with the flywheel when the rope is pulled to start the engine. Over time, the pulley will wear. The pulley often breaks where the starter spring attaches. The pulley will wear down where it contacts the flywheel, causing it to no longer engage. Replacing the pulley is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the starter from the saw. Now I can begin disassembling the starter. First, I'll pull a foot or so of rope away from the starter, and I'll pull the knot in the starter rope out of the handle. I'll go ahead and untie the knot. With the knot untied, I'll remove the grip, and I'll allow the rope to recoil back into the starter to get the tension off the starter spring. With the tension removed, now I'll remove the screw that secures the pulley to the housing. I'll unwind the rope, and I'll pull the rope away from the pulley. Now I can install the new pulley. I'll place it over the post in the starter, and make sure it engages with the spring. I'll secure it with the screw, and now I need to wind the pulley to retention the spring. I want to turn it in the direction so when I let go of the pulley, it'll pull the rope back in and around the pulley. So in this case, I turn it clockwise. I'll wind it several times. When I feel I've got enough tension on the spring, I'll align the hole in the pulley with the hole in the starter housing for the rope. I'll take the rope, thread it back through the pulley, and through the housing. Now I'll take the rope and temporarily tie a knot in the center. This will make it easier to reinstall the grip. I'll thread the rope through the grip and tie a knot in the end. Now I can untie the temporary knot and allow the rope to recoil back into the starter. And now I can reinstall the starter assembly. I'll line it with the saw and give the rope a little pull just to make sure the starter paws engage. Then I'll secure it with the screws. And that's how you can install a new pulley in your gas power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.